All right, I think we might have our first ring. Check it out. All right, we're right here in the water. We gotta wash, uh, wash it out, but it's definitely silver. Look. We're out for another beach hunt on a beautiful day. I got John here. Wait, what's up, John? All right, let's do it, Gig Master. I'm ready. I'm ready to find some gold. The gold fee was down a little bit right now, but we could drop a little further. Stay tuned. I have gotten three targets and hadn't found any of the three. I, I tell you, water hunting is tough. Sometimes you lose it. It goes deeper. You don't know. Up on land, you can work on a little bit, but out here in the water, it's tough. Some of y'all have asked me this question. Why I've got that blue on my detector that little floaty thing on my detector and this is why as you see when I drop my detector in the water it floats up right there where I can grab it like this and if you notice John's got one on his too get the blue thing on it it'll float the detector right up so you grab a hold of it when you're in the, out in the water and you let go and you're looking for your uh, target but anyway that's the reason for the blue floaty on my end of my scoop all right let's keep getting up so we can find some goodies here we go well, you know I like digging stuff, so I'm out here in the war not getting anything, so I had to come up here and at least dig one item anyway. 24. Like that, I'm thinking of dime maybe. Let's see what we got here. I think we might have it actually. Yep, we do right here. Kick it out of the way. Yep, I see something down there, and we're gonna put something in our bag right there to make us feel better. And it's a dime. All right, we're tense in the head now. All right. All right, we finally found a target. It's in the scoop right here, and it is a penny, and it's a modern pen, stinking Lincoln. All right, let's bag it up. That's it. John, we're doing it, everybody. Well, we're killing it. <laughs> we ain't doing a whole lot, but we're out here in the water trying to see what's out here. Not as many people come out here in the water, so it's a good spot. Oh, got this right here. It's a lot of clay. Look at this. I mean, I had big chunks of clay. So we're right on top of the uh, the clay layer, which is good. But I thought it was a nickel. But I started looking at it, and I saw something on the back. It like a bear, beaver, or something there. And that's definitely not a U.S. nickel. That's definitely probably, I'm thinking maybe, uh, maybe Canadian. Maybe Liz can tell us. She's up in Canada. All right, stay tuned. We'll check it out when we get home. All right, we had to move. Uh, t target's kind of slacked off. Got a new beach. All right, dug one quarter here, and I might have another one here, maybe. 26, 28. Jump around a little bit. Could be a toy car. You never move sometimes. Wow, got it fast, though. I know that. <laughs> we did get it fast. Uh-oh. Not seen anything really great yet. Oh, there it is. It's a quarter. All right. Let's rack it up. That's a... Uh, we'll get close to a bug now. Stay tuned. All right. I think we might have our first ring. Check it out. All right. We're right here in the water. We've got to wash, uh, wash it out. But it's definitely silver looking. Oh, yeah. That's a ring. It's a toe ring, I think. Got definitely got a design on it. I'm not sure what that is. A flower or something, I think. That's cool. Got our first ring of the day. I guarantee that's probably silver, too. All right. Awesome. Let's back it up. Oh, we just dug a nice eight ounce fishing sinker. That's a big one there. Can you use a fishing sinker? Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to give it to the man right there. I'll catch me a shark with this. Uh, <laughs> Hope you do, man. Yeah, Good job, John. All right, buddy. Boy, ain't that pretty back there behind John. He says he's got an eight over here. He's trying to figure out that. Eight's a good number for a good target. But not seeing gold pop out. No gold. It's, uh, that it? No piece of copper. Little copper scrap. Yeah, a lot of that copper scrap around. But look at that pretty blue back there, man. That is awesome, isn't it? It's beautiful back there. Hey, that's treasure right there, John. Yes, sir. That's treasure right there, buddy. Just to be out here and be able to come out here and do this. That's I treasure. Love it. Love Me too. It. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, what's got there, John? Uh, looks like hey, a little line that's here. right, pretty. Oh, the lion's head. Look at that. That's right, pretty. It was gold at one time. It looks like. I think that thing was a gold plate. Look sure. at that. Guarantee you that, man. All right, we're going out with the lines, man. I hear you. All right, let's keep looking. All right, I can see something sparkling in the sand. I like it. I see some ice down there. Oh, it's going to be junk, though. Look at that. I see rust on the back side of it. But it's a pretty earring. I was, or maybe a necklace. I'm not sure which one it is yet. Probably earring. But it's going to be junk. It's prettier. Look at that. Nice. It is just one beautiful day out here today. I'm going to let you look at the nice, pretty blue sky. 
and a nice uh, water. The water is looking really good too. Nice and calm. Boy, if we ever could catch a day like this at Virginia Beach, whew. down at the beach I know there's some stuff out in the water, but it's just hard to catch a good day when you get out there. Right here we've been doing a lot of coins in the water. I'm surprised how many coins I've been digging in the water out here, but we've been doing pretty good. Um, we're going to continue hitting the water now. It's dead low about right now, and so we're going to continue in the water for a little, about the next hour at least anyway. And see what we come up with. So stay tuned. We'll see what we can do. Here we go. Just enjoy the view and the sea. What you got out there, John? Some Ray-Bans I cut in half. Oh, man. He's got a pair of Ray-Bans. But digging them up, he destroyed them. Oh, man. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right. Let's keep getting out. Here we go. All right, a ship must went by. Put a couple waves in here. Uh, normally, there's no waves at all here right lately, but just so happens got a few coming in right this minute. But uh, people are going out there. It's dead low tide right now, so people are going out there and the uh, walking out there. Are pretty good waves. So. All right, there's John right there. Won't be long now. We're gonna get out of here. All right, stay tuned. Got a target, John? Uh-oh, John's got He's a target. Uh-oh. Well, we traveled out pretty good ways off the beach just to try our hand. The deeper water, well, it's dead low, so it's not deep, but you see people stand out here playing, horse playing and all. That's how you lose your stuff. They were just uh, over there just knocking each other down and all. But that's how it does. John's got one target, so we'll check that out in a second. All right, we'll hit here just a little bit longer. We're going to get out of here. All right, I see something down here. I'm not sure what it is. I see hearts on it, though. Oh my goodness, John, I think I see something here, buddy. It's a chain, but I think I see rust color right there. But look at the hearts. It's pretty well, no look. It's gold looking, ain't it? It certainly got some gold on it, doesn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Lots of hearts, but I see some of that rust color on there. It still could be 10 carat with that on it. I don't know. We have to check that out when we get home, but I don't like that rust color on it right there. Could be something though, John. Could be. It could be. I'd like to clean that up and check it out right there. All right, stay tuned. What a really beautiful day out there today. Ended up getting in the water today more than I've gotten in the water all summer. That that beach boy out there was nice and calm. You could work out there. A couple of spots had a lot of coins in the water. So I did clean up pretty good in, around the water's edge here. And out, out deep in the water is a couple of coins too. So we got two foreign coins today and we got silver. So let's check it out right now. All right, uh, not too bad on the trash, not bad at all. A little bit of gray matter, three sinkers there. A little bit of other trash here. Yeah, I'm not sure what some of that stuff is right there, but anyway. Some, I know that's a shell casing. I'm not sure. What, that's a snap, I think. Now a bullet. That's a strange bullet there, dude. But anyway, clad. I think it's about six bucks there. Y'all can count it up. Let me know down below. I think it's around six bucks, and that which isn't bad. We're starting to fill our jar up again. I think we're going to be cashing in. Maybe in a couple more months, maybe get another few hundred dollars, which is great, man. That's awesome. Uh, got some uh, jewelry here. Uh, this is definitely, I think it's a clip-on earring. Uh, definitely junk. I, this has got my heart going right here. Look at that. Man, that looked good. I saw that gold in the sand. I thought we could have something. But best I can tell, I didn't see any markings on anything. It looks a little decayed, so I'm pretty sure that's not gold there. Uh, we did get silver, though. Check it out. A little ring. With uh, and it's, and it's heavy duty ring too, it's not one of those real cheesy cheesy ones I get sometimes. Hadn't been lost too, too long because it's too uh, too shiny, but it's got like a flower thing on the front of it, and like I said, it's adjustable right there, so that's pretty cool and not bad at all. Uh, we got this coin here, which I didn't realize until I got it here. So, look at I must have turned my bag thinking it was a um, quarter, but it's actually a 50 centavos 1967. 50 centavos in Mexican coin, but it's got Estados Unidos on the back, which is United States and Mexican. So I don't know if some, I'm not sure exactly uh, how it relates to Estados Unidos, but anyway, it's there. I'll put a picture up there of it right there. I wanted you to see it a little better. That's pretty cool. Uh, and got this one right here 1983 Canadian nickel. I'm not sure what that's doing there, but I bet my friend Liz has found a few of those. She's got a YouTube channel up in uh, Canada. I think it's digging canoe. But anyway, she I bet she dug a couple of those before. Canadian coin. Pretty cool. Anyway, we did pretty good today. I would say that that adds up pretty decent. And uh we're gonna be filling that jar back up for the summer, I believe. It's it's already got about that much in it so far. So anyway, 
Let's, uh, let's keep working on it and get that jar filled up. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and always subscribe to the Gig Master because you never know what we'll be doing next. Stay tuned.